Hi guys, so I thought we'd start, uh, I'm going to start doing some interviews with some of my friends so that we can get to know them a little bit and you guys can get to know them a little bit. And so we're going to start with my bestie, um, fit wife Jules, and we're going to start by asking you how you and your husband started in the lifestyle. You know, when we were, when we first got married, we were both on our second marriage. And so we sat down and pretty much decided what we wanted and what we didn't want. And one of the things we wanted was to be able to branch out and explore areas that we weren't able to do in the first marriages. And so we took that and meandered through and we tried different things. And some things were fantastic and other things were complete catastrophe. <laughs> But that's, that's pretty much how it began. Do you find that in the long run, the lifestyle has worked for you overall? Oh my gosh, yes. How many people, how many couples we've met over the years? I mean, that's the thing. I, I, I think like mainstream folks or, or the average folks think that, oh, that's something this group of people do. Mm -hmm. There are so many of the mainstream people who do do this. And so you get to hear how they incorporate this in their lives, how they keep the balance within their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a lot of people are very successful and, you know, have these amazing lives, but then they, they, go, they, they go into this other area of their relationship. And so you get to hear their stories yeah. and how they did it. And again, some of their catastrophes, you know, but also some of their amazing things. I love to know that I, I'm i a big connector. I always, I like to be able to talk with things in common. Yeah. And so that's that's one of my favorite parts. That's... Besides the yummy sex, of course, but I do like the connecting part. Okay. Well, I, I already knew that about her because she truly is one of my best friends. Uh, so rumor has it amongst our fan base that you are the queen of spades. Do you think that's true? <laughs> okay, the answer is yes, but Technically. <laughs> it's so limiting. Mm -hmm. it is. Not only for the person who's being put in the box, but also the person who's thinking about, like, so if I say queen of spades, boom, you have your idea. Right. And boom, I have my idea. and. It totally it, it limits me. So um, I like to say I'm, I'm I'm about connection again. I'm about the energy. That's what it is. This could be a, a beautiful black man standing in front of me, but if he's got terrible energy, I want nothing to do with that, right? Yeah. Or if I have a, a beautiful black man who has this amazing, like almost like dripping energy of you know sexuality, it's like I want all of. Yes. So I don't think that box is oh, There's a music video out from the 90s by D'Angelo, and he's, you want to you wanna talk about him? No, I can't even put words to my mouth when, when I think of that video. <laughs> so, and he's, he's naked. He's a very fit, beautiful chocolate, chocolate man, and he's naked in a darkened room with a spotlight on him just singing his heart out. And the, the song is gorgeous. His voice is gorgeous, but then... The package is gorgeous. He has That's sweat through. oil all over this body, and then he's sweating through the oil, and then he's like moving, so the muscles are contracting. Contract. Oh, jeez! Yeah. I'm in the front seat of the car, just like having a little, little moment. And she <laughs> watched the whole video. <laughs> okay. It was really good. So, like mainstream folks or. The average folks think that, oh, that's something this group of people do. Mm -hmm. There are so many of the mainstream people who do do this. And so you get to hear how they incorporate this in their lives, how they keep the balance within their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a lot of people are very successful and, you know, have these amazing lives. But then they, they, go, they, they go into this other area of their relationship. And so you could hear their stories yeah. and how they did it. And again, some of their catastrophes, you know, but also some of their amazing things. I, I love it. 